guys and welcome back to another tutorial so today i am going to do something a little bit different usually i do a like a procedure based tutorial but today i'm going to actually show you a little bit of improvement on the last video that i did which was basically auto smelting so i made some improvements thanks to crispy chips i uh, use one of our programmers on our my discord server as well as a programmer for mc toolkit he suggested basically to have it to de detect the smelting output and i was able to figure that all out and get all that set up so it basically acts the same way it's just it's cross mod compatible now as well as has its auto set up so you really don't need too much to actually test for things so if we were to mine this cobblestone as you can see it drops cobble or stone if we mine the iron it's going to drop an iron ignit if we mine this it's not actually going to drop anything because it doesn't have a smelting recipe so it's actually going to drop the block itself and if we go over here it should drop uh nether bricks uh stone will drop smooth stone i think yep and i'm not sure about yeah so you can get smooth sandstone as well now if the block is uh, above the harvest level now this is a harvest level of one i think one and below so gold requires two it requires a gold iron pickaxe it's not going to drop anything it's still going to spawn the particles and uh, yeah, that's basically, it just basically breaks the um, block like it usually does usually does without a drop. So let's hop into M Crater and I will show you the major improvements that I worked on. So I'm not gonna go into how the tool's set up. Again, the only thing that you really need to worry about is when the block is destroyed with the tool. If you wanna watch my other tutorial on this particular thing, I'll link to it, to, link to it below. So what I've done here is uh, a lot of work on the actual procedure. I'll cover how to build it from scratch again. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is we need a if statement. So we're gonna go to flow control, grab an if statement. And then what we need is a light blue operator. So we're gonna go to logic grab a light blue operator and from there again what we're going to need is a true statement and we're going to plop that down there so the next thing that we need to do is can item harvest and then we need to get the block so we need to go to item and then we need to scroll down to this one right here where it says can and then there's a red block for an item harvest and then a yellow block for an item so we're going to grab that place it down here we're gonna select our tool that we have created and we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna delete this block here and we're gonna to go to block procedures and then scroll down to the bottom. And then we're gonna grab the get block at and we're gonna drop it right there. So that's the first thing that we're testing for. That's perfect. And now that we have that, we need to grab another if statement. Uh, this time it needs to be a if and else statement. So the second one down. And what we need to do is we need to test if not. So we're gonna to go to logic and we're gonna grab a not statement. We're gonna place that down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a, so we're gonna to go to logic, grab a red operator here. Then what we need to do is get the result of the item. So we're gonna to go to item procedures and we're gonna scroll down until uh, let's see if I can't find it. I uh, get smelting recipe. So I'm actually pretty new to this procedure. I'm just looking for it. I can't remember where it was. Um, is it under item? It's smelting. It should be under item. Item. Yeah, it should be. There we go. Right here. Get smelted uh, re result of provided item stack. So we're going to place that down here. We're then going to remove the provided item stack. And then what we're going to do is go back to item procedures. And then we're going to scroll a little bit up and we're going to find uh, convert um, the block to item. So we're going to drop that into that place. We're going to remove the block part. And then we're going to go to back to block procedures, scroll down to the bottom. 
get block at, and we're going to place that right in there. And the last thing that we need to do is go ahead and uh, test for the item. So we're going to go to Minecraft components, grab the red item operator or selection. We are going to select error and that will test if the block is not being the block that is currently being broken does not have a result of error. So if it's not error um, or does not have a smelting recipe, then what it's going to do is it's going to um, basically spawn the gem of the uh, result. So again, if it doesn't have a, if, if, if it does not have a smelting recipe of air, that would mean that it doesn't have or it has a recipe, then what it's going to do is it's going to spawn a gem. So we need to go to world management and then we're going to spawn gem and we're going to place that down here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy uh, the get smelting recipe and all that code's already set up so we can just directly drop it right where the item will be dropping and the next thing that we need to do is adjust the drop location so we're going to go and grab a uh, math operator under math and then there's a math operator right here we're also going to need a number for math and then we're going to go 0 0.5 and we're going to duplicate this three times and then we're going to drop our x y and Z coordinates and then we're going to place them back into the same order they were in. So that part's set up. Now what we need to do is we need to create a local variable. So there's a little box right on the left hand side or right hand side here which is local variables. You want to create one, a logic variable. Uh, you can name it anything you want. What we're going to be using it for is to test if uh, what state the if basically if the item has been spawned or if it hasn't. So um, I basically just named one remove block and then if it's removed then what we want to do is we want to remove the block completely. And uh, this goes back to the first tutorial that I made. Um, we need to remove the block uh, basically if it doesn't have the um, if it doesn't basically have a recipe or if it has a smelting recipe we need to remove it without any particular drop so we need to do that before the pickaxe has a chance to drop the item so that's basically where this part comes in uh, we're just testing if the this part of the code here has run so we need to go to uh, custom variables after you've set that all up and then you want to uh, set variable and then you want to go to logic grab a true statement and this should this one in this box right under the spawn jam should be true and then you want to duplicate that and set that to false in the else statement uh, lastly uh, we need a another flow control and we need another do and else statement for an if so this time what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the uh, variable so we need to go to logic, grab a light blue operator, then go back to variables, grab the get variable for a local variable. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to get the true version of that variable. So you can just copy the true statement here. And if it's equal to true, then what we want to do is go to block. And then we want to scroll down until we see um, remove block at and then the coordinates and then at spawn break particles. So we're going to place that down right here. And lastly, what we need to do is if the block or if the basically if the block um, has no smelting recipe, what we need to do is basically drop the same item. As if we want to drop the same item is basically the same default drop then what we want to do is go back to block scroll down until you see remove block at and then drop at x y and z same coordinates and you just want to drop that right there and that's as simple as it is so um, it's pretty straightforward this will be cross mod compatible except for the tool that you're testing for 
but it will basically allow you to auto smelt any block. I'm not sure if it will be able to be used for enchantments. I haven't actually played around with that, but that's basically how it all works. And uh, after, just make sure to save and uh, you're good to go. So hopefully you guys found today's tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.